I, I have rapped in a program I did, a Weird Weekends episode about rap. Can you remember any of the rap that you did? My money don't j- George Bull, please try again and perhaps learn to declare your space. So, are you also here? Because COVID-19 unexpectedly hit us last 2020 and now almost everything we do is basically online and almost paperless. But you have accumulated way too much digital clutter that you can't ignore anymore but now you don't know where to start or how to start. Same. But I'm here to help you because I'm a Virgo and I am unhinged and never relaxed so I love to organize. I've built my entire personality here on YouTube as someone who loves to organize. If you don't know when I'm bored, I organize. When I'm stressed, I organize. When I don't know what to do, I organize. I'm gonna walk you through for my system in each of my device and I'll just put that stamps down below so you guys can skip through which part you're actually interested in. First, I'm gonna walk you through my setup and as you can see here is my PC which is actually gifted to me by Lenovo but this video is not sponsored. Anyways, I mainly use my PC for all of my tasks, honestly, for university, for work, for leisure. And then my MacBook here beside me is mostly for YouTube editing and sometimes schoolwork or art but it's super slow right now because it's like four or five years old. Even if I have my MacBook and PC, I still heavily rely on cloud storage aka Google Drive and iCloud and my hard drives because I don't know, they're just trustworthy and easier to transfer files between all of my gadgets. Then my phone and tablet are just for normal everyday stuff and photos mostly. So vlogging, entertainment, art, and all that stuff. And as you can see here, I got a new case for my phone and also for my MacBook over here. So I got three new cases. Thank you to Case to Buy for sponsoring today's video and I'm so excited. Because let me tell you how many times I dropped my phone and my Mac. Too many times that I'm so tired of my mom scolding me. She always manages to catch me dropping my phone every single time. I'm so tired. But now, mom, if you're watching this, you can't scold me anymore because I have Caseify cases and if you guys haven't heard of Caseify, they're actually known for their ultra impact cases that offers top-notch protection for all of your gadgets plus they're so cute like look at this it's a win-win situation you're cute and you're protected and this is my favorite it just has this like guest check or restaurant aesthetic vibe that i'm going for and it actually matches my sticker that i put on my journal which is so perfect and i have another one in pink it just has my name i forget lost it's no this is Aliana's case. <laughs> then these little bumpers at the side just allow them to be shockproof so you don't even have to worry about like dropping them 9 feet off the floor because it absorbs all of the shock, I think. My favorite part is that it's so thick so I feel so protected just like inserting it in my phone. Like it, feel, it feels so secure if I just put it here but it's still so lightweight so I don't even feel anything when you carry it. If you didn't know and like what I showed earlier, Caseify has started to cater to all kinds of tech needs from your iPad, AirPods, tablet, all the way to your MacBook, of course. And this one is their latest sleeve story time because when I first got my MacBook, I actually dropped it while I was commuting and when it was raining, so it fell right off my super old cheap sleeve. It created a bump over here at the corners and luckily my mom didn't know, but now she'll find out. So. Sorry mom. It's slim, it's sturdy, and my Mac fits perfectly inside so I don't have to worry about it slipping right off and making a dent on like my old one. Plus it's way easier to carry and it's cute. Like it has all these stickers. It matches. It matches the vibe, the sticker vibe. And I'm living for it. It's perfect for your everyday commute to work or school because it's made of shock absorbing and lightweight material and a water resistant zipper. One last thing is that most of the cases, their ultra impact cases, are actually sustainable. They're made of recycled and plant based materials and even old plastic bottles. I love that. I'm all for recycling and upcycling in this channel. If you guys haven't seen my room tour, you can actually customize your cases, all of your cases on their website. That way, you can just match all of your cases or you can make each of your cases unique to your own personality. If you guys want to get your own and be matched with me, you guys can head over to caseify.com slash aliana to get 15% off your new cases and lock those sleeves. You're welcome and thank you again to Caseify for partnering with me on this video and speaking of my phone, let's actually start here because I don't want to overwhelm you guys with all of my folders. I like to keep my home screen 
pretty simple with just the apps I use within the first two pages while the rest of it will be kept in the app library. And the main thing I organize here is my camera roll which I try to declutter every two to three weeks. And the way I do it is first going to the camera roll obviously and go to the media types or categories and that's where I start because it's less overwhelming. So I go to screenshots first and clear it all out because that tends to accumulate the most and makes my main camera roll look so messy so I go do that and then go to videos and selfies, live photos, portrait, panoramas, screen recordings and all that stuff and after I do organize it by media type, I just head over to the recents or the normal camera roll and see if there's anything else I want to declutter. If you don't know, I also use the favorites tool. I like to use this to either compile photos I plan to post on Instagram or bookmark some important photos or life hacks I saw and screenshotted on social media. And then once I'm done using them or posting them, I like to go to this super cool app which is unfavorite. Remove a bunch of my favorites in bulk and just clear it out when I'm done with them. And another cool thing is this one called my photo stream this basically syncs your most recent 1000 photos on all of your apple devices but i use this one the most on my ipad because i like to journal here and i have a template down below if you guys are interested <laughs> and with this i don't have to airdrop photos manually between my laptop my phone to my ipad so i can journal and now we're moving on to my MacBook and PC over here. And honestly, I barely keep anything in the internal disk because like I said, I mostly use cloud storage or hard drives. Accessing and transferring my files way easier and faster and more convenient. I also love the cloud storage because just in case I leave my gadget accidentally somewhere or my gadget suddenly malfunctions, I also have all of my files. But if you want a closer look to my Mac and PC, I have two separate videos on them on how I decorate and organize it. So first we have Google Drive and this is essentially my archive meaning I'll only ever upload files here once I'm done using it. And as you can see, I'm paying back my mom by making the most out of the very expensive tuition fee that luckily gives us access to unlimited cloud storage. I have seven main folders which I renamed with numbers so it's arranged exactly how I want it to be, not just by alphabetical order. It's also color-coded so I can easily differentiate each folder. I'm basically taking advantage of my photographic memory because that way I don't need to read each folder to know where to click like, as long as it's in the exact same location I know it where it used to be. Anyways, in the art folder, I keep all of my past digital artworks. I save all of them here no matter how ugly or old they are. It's categorized by type of design and usage, I guess. And then under each type are more folders where you can really get the actual design files, like the Adobe files. <laughs> oh my gosh, like I'm really so sentimental. I don't know why, but yeah, it just it's also nice to see the growth I've had with digital art. And look at this, that's me kissing Finnick. <laughs> <laughs> not, I'm not delusional, I'm just creative. I like to save both the PNG and Adobe just in case I want to redo it in the future or edit it, you know? And for uni, things are organized based on each semester. And as you can see, they're named like a TV show and it's so cute, like season 4, episode 1 for my first semester of senior year and yada yada yada. Two other folders where I keep important files like my IDs, tuitions, forms, etc. And sometimes I'll also add the shortcuts to the Google Drives my professors would send over to us so it's just shortcut or bookmark there so I don't lose it. Under each semester, our files divided per class. So right now, we're learning here on the screen that just because it looks organized on the outside doesn't mean it is on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> it's so messy and I don't really work too hard for this part inside. I just dump all of my class files under their own respective folders at the end of each semester because by then I'm so done with school. It's not like I'm gonna look back to this. I just want to keep it just in case. If I need something specific, I can just go to the class folder that I remember where I used it and then search for it there <laughs> one by one manually. For me, what's important is that the file is in the correct class folder. That's all that matters. So all of these here are just the extra documents I saved or my professor sent because all of my requirements that I pass and write are all in the Google apps themselves. And this is where I name them correctly instead like class name and then requirement name. So let's stay practical. 
<laughs> Guys, I also want to share this life hack I recently learned during on school. Since we have a lot of group works in my university, we like to create one shared folder for all of us where we just put all of the files and working documents we're doing. It's also convenient to just directly make a file in that folder when it's group work so you don't need to send the same link every single time you make a new document since everyone has access to that same folder anyways. Then I have more or less the same system for my high school files but this time it's per school year. And the only folder I like here is my sets folder. Inside, I organized my whole experience because it was so traumatizing. As you can see, I divided the files in one folder, the ones I need to submit to the university, then another dedicated folder just for the pictures I took the day I took the entrance exam. So congrats to the other students watching right now that did not go through sets because it just gave me existential crisis. I really thought I would not pass my current my, my university. Also, don't ask me for tips for college entrance exams because that was like four years ago and I don't remember anything at all or what I studied. So good luck to the new set of people, of students gonna take the sets because you're gonna be the first batch of experiments again. <laughs> this next for work, I have six folders and it's pretty straightforward. I just keep all my past working files and documents I use throughout my stay in the company and also during the application phase. And I also keep my past commissions here since I do freelance as a designer occasionally. I also have a YouTube folder here to archive all of the thumbnails, contracts, and invoices I've saved. I have a previous folder here that I put here the ones I like to share and link with you guys whenever I make tutorial videos like photos, journals, templates, etc. For personal, you can see that I have so many random stuff that you probably don't understand. In short, the, most of these are just screenshots I've accumulated since 2020 and it's just categorized by type. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why am I like this? And But I'll talk more about this later because this is basically the copy or archive of what I have on my iCloud and I just put it here once my iCloud is full. Yeah, I'm unhinged. Anyways, lastly shared is basically just a dump of folders that my friends and family made for us to just dump and share photos from specific locations. Then back up pretty self-explanatory and now we go to iCloud and since Google Drive is for all of my archived files you guessed it yay iCloud it, I just reserved it for all of the files I'm currently using I bought the 50 gigabytes it's just 49 pesos a month which is which I think is worth it for me because I use the heck out of iCloud. This makes file organization way more convenient in three ways because first, I use this as a root folder for my font management app, sync all of my fonts across my Mac, PC. As a designer, it's just so hassle to keep downloading the same fonts between, between these two. And second, I use iCloud as a root folder for the screenshots and screen recordings I just take on both my PC and MacBook. And third, since I journal on my iPad, as I said, I so photo stream. Syncing my screenshots on the iCloud just makes digital journaling way more easy because I can easily access the ones I want to put on my journal on my iPad. Speaking of screenshots, I have quarantines folder over here. The screenshots I've taken for the past few years as I said in Google Drive because I spend a lot of time with my friends, family, co-workers, classmates online so might as well keep the screenshots we've taken because in a few years time we're probably gonna laugh at how we took memories and pictures and selfies over Zoom. We're literally posing on our bedroom and say and then do that. All the screenshots I've taken related to that class for my internship and or work and all that stuff. And as you can see, I really am really sentimental. I don't know why I like to keep all of these screenshots, but I just feel so warm whenever I see some old screenshots. Because like our lives can change so drastically when ju even in just a few months or in just a few years. So I like to clean out my actual screenshots folder over here every two to three months and just organize them into these folders you just saw and then delete the other ones I don't really care about. <laughs> Enough about screenshots. I also like to keep my art tools when making digital art like presets, patterns, shapes, and then some important documents which I've found to be super convenient like when I'm outside and just applying for something or doing something and they look for my ID it's just here so life hack some good old memes so per people perceive me to be funny and more analog photos just in case I want to post them on my Instagram aesthetic yarn 
I also collect and dump here my ebooks, wallpapers for Mac and PC, and some folder icons. I also use iCloud to upload backups of my Lightroom presets and Procreate files from my phone and iPad. So I make the most out of my 50 gigabytes iCloud, and I love iCloud so much. And lastly, here's your reminder that it's okay to have a junk folder. Junk. Junk folder. <laughs> Drop folder, what the heck? I just put everything here if I'm too lazy to fix and organize it at the moment. Now, moving on to more high drives. Where are they? I have two because I have so many files and they take up so many gigabytes. Love to picture everything, even the most random and most stupid and useless photos, and keep it. These are both one terabyte and from the brand Transcend. These just have stickers because this is the one I use the most, so it's cute whenever I use it. We'll talk about this later, but I dedicate my purple one for all of my personal stuff. And as you can see, I have four main folders. First is YouTube. I just store here all of my super old vlogs from 2018 to 2020 because it took up too much space in my other one. It's further arranged per date. I filmed it and then later on in 2020, that's when I started adding titles to it, to the folders since this was when I began to plan and take my YouTube content seriously. So thank you guys for, for supporting me! I just started vlogging for fun. Like I did not know it would escalate to this much to 88,000 of you and I'm so happy and so grateful. I would literally be a nobody without you guys. Yeah, I wouldn't, I would not have been able to buy my mom's stuff, buy my family things. YouTube has opened up so many opportunities for me work-wise, personal-wise, and even myself. Like, I've grown so much to be more confident and comfortable with my face, with my voice, and so much for all of your sweet comments every single time we post, even though it wasn't consistent, and then I read every single one of your comments. Anyways, aside from YouTube, I also play shows, movies I've downloaded before, but honestly, I rely more now on streaming, so I don't really touch this folder anymore. Then, so embarrassing, I have a dedicated folder for all of my fandom-related stuff. If you don't know, I used to be such a fangirl for white men. <laughs> and for some K-pop group. I've been on Stan Twitter since I was like 12 years old. Since 2012, 2013. But now I've outgrown it, so I'm kind of old now. But yeah, it just has all of my concert videos, fan meet events, and random fangirl screenshots and photos. <laughs> I'm very sentimental. Lastly, in my memories folder, I just have all the photos I have with my loved ones and of course, myself. I have grown to be vain because of YouTube. <laughs> like before YouTube, I was so embarrassed of my face. I hated talking, I hated my voice, I hated my face. But now I'm so vain. If you want to be more confident with yourself, start a YouTube channel. Anyways, my general system for my memories folder is it's categorized by subject in the photos like family, friends, etc. Further organized by year. And under those, it's even more group per event along with the date and event name. That's how I like to do it, but also I don't really follow this for all of my folders. Mostly for my friends and family folders because those are the most important ones. But I also keep random folders here if ever they don't really fit in a category or don't have enough photos. Uh, yeah, this is more or less the same for my other folders, but in friends, it's categorized per friend group. Then for my photos and vacation trips, it's based on year and the place. Then my dogs, it's per dog. <laughs> And they're not really, honestly, my dog's folder is the most unorganized. I love dogs. I'm really a dog person. If you think I'm very unhinged, then you're probably right. But changing the view here also makes organizing per date easier because it already says here when it was taken. So I just select them all and just dump it onto one folder. To be honest, I haven't organized my memories folder in like two years since 2020. So with my free time now as a college graduate, I'll sort through all of my files and organize it and back up all of my photos in my phone. But it's gonna take a while because <laughs> two years. Finally, for the last part of this video is my other blue hard drive which I dedicate all things related to YouTube and work here slash design. Over here, I also have four main folders. First is animation. It just has all my files for Adobe be After Effects and Premiere because they make so many unnecessary sub folders that make my hard drive look so messy. Then Art just has my pirated copies of the Adobe software for my Windows and Mac. And yes, I cheap. I'm cheap. Like I'm not gonna pay. So I'm not gonna pay like 80 dollars per month 
No, sorry, Adobe. Pirated, but still working well. I've been using <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking about this. Anyways, and I also have some other tools I might need for when I'm designing. Fonts, free mockups, I downloaded it online. Then in the design folder is where I keep the actual design files that I'm currently using or working on, like for work or leisure, or my internships, homework, commissions, etc. Lastly, since I added on my MacBook and this has barely any storage, I edit videos with my hard drive plugged in. I keep all of my clips and effects in this folder because if I don't do that, it uses up so many gigabytes on my laptop. So I just have all of my recent footage here and in the tools folder is where I keep all the presets, background music, photo effects, and sound effects. For my music, it's all arranged by type and genre. Then the same goes for my sound effects. But some of them are just out of the in the open if I don't really have a category for them. Then the photos are just the small details I like to add on the screen to make it look aesthetic. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna end this video, but yeah, the video is done. So you can leave now. You can leave. Bye! And it's not like a lot of people say in the end. So if you're still here, thank you so much. Please comment down below. I'm so sexy. <laughs> comment that down below so I know that you stayed till the end. Yeah. If you have tips for me, please don't be shy. Anything, I love anything organization related. That's my whole personality on YouTube. That's how I romanticize my life. Oh my gosh, I forgot to wear earrings. I forgot to wear earrings, dude. I'm so mad because I have so many cute earrings as you saw in my previous vlogs and I did not wear any of them. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next vlog. Bye!